Hey, what's up, everybody? Dr. Legrand here, here at Nature Health Clinic. I am super excited about talking about today's topic, just like any other topic. But today we're going to talk about the motivation gap that people with ADHD deal with. This is something that lots of kids, lots of adults who deal with ADHD have this motivation gap, but I'm hoping I can share a few tips with you guys of how to get over the motivation gap. Like I said before in my other videos, I have dealt with ADHD. I've grown up with ADHD as well as dyslexia, other, you know, definitely academic challenges growing up. And I've had to use these techniques to get over the motivation gap because let's be honest, there are certain subjects that just kids with ADHD do not like, but anybody in general who just do not like, but I want to kind of talk about the difference of people who have ADHD and people who just don't of what the difference is. So what we call is the motivation gap. I've seen this kind of explained in a couple other videos is basically if you think about a bridge and there's planks, right, of certain things to be able to get over and there might be little gaps. Now those gaps might be very small for other people that, you know, you don't really want to do a certain task. You don't want to do a homework assignment, but you get over it. But people with ADHD might have more planks there are bigger gaps that are just like almost impossible to get over. And so how do we put those planks on there so we can get across the bridge? That's what we call the motivation gap. And these are what I want to kind of explain. But I want to make sure that people understand who don't have ADHD what that is. Is that it, it might have been a task that you might have a person who had ADHD be able to do in the past, but just is struggling with doing it again. And it's because they need some motivation, something that actually will motivate them to actually get over that. So basically what it comes to down to as far as doing things, you have to be more creative as far as kids with ADHD when it comes to actually doing tasks, doing subjects that they don't want to, doing homework assignments they don't want to. And this is where it comes down to like a reward and a punishment system. I don't really like to say punishment, but like a reward and obviously something they don't get rewarded for if they don't do it. But doing in small steps. So if it might be a homework assignment, this could be simple as like, you know, do these five math problems, then you get to do five minutes of something that you actually do enjoy, whether that's playing with Legos, whether that's playing with, uh, you know, a video game or, you know, doing something, you know, that they enjoy or even as an adult, something that you enjoy, maybe watching a certain video or YouTube video, whatever it might be, is giving yourself little rewards so it keeps motivating you to actually get the bigger task done, but you got to do it in chunks and small steps. The other thing that I do highly suggest as far as to get over the motivation gap is actually find ways to actually connect it to something that you're already interested in. So for example, this might be if you really don't like history, but you really like video games, for example. There's lots of kids with ADHD that like video games, myself included, but that how you can kind of connect that is maybe there's certain video games you like that actually involve history. And so diving in more depth. So an example with this be might be medieval history. Okay. Well, there's plenty of video games out there that has to do with middle medieval history. So that can be a connection to get over the motivation gap. You know, you have to just think outside the box to be able to get over these gaps with kids with ADHD, but they are very powerful. It's something I had to do. The other thing is that you could actually ask your teacher. So I did this every time when I had a new subject, whether in high school or college, I always would ask my teacher why they are so interested in that subject, especially something like English. Uh, so they would actually tell me why they're so passionate about it. And it would have me think something I never thought about of that subject and help me connect to things that I was interested in. So it made me more motivated to actually learn that subject. So these are just a few tips that I want to leave with you to be able to help you guys get over the motivation gap. If you know anybody that struggles with the motivation gap who have ADHD, please share this with somebody that is really struggling. Or, you know, if you have a parent that you know that has kids that are struggling with this, please share it with with them. If you have any further questions about ADHD, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. We have do these live streams every week, every Tuesday and Thursday. Until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Thanks. Bye.